Hi, my name's Kaz and welcome to my channel Oz Vaping with Kaz. First, just a quick apology for my right eye being red. Optometrist doesn't know why. Um, so, using some drops to try and help that. But, you know, let's move on from there. My videos are for the brand new vapor. The person who's on the cigarettes, who just wants to give up cigarettes. Or, like me, it was a financial uh, reason. I was spending up to $400 or more a fortnight just on cigarettes. So, although I didn't want to give up smoking, I loved smoking, I, I, I just couldn't afford it anymore. So, I, I thought I'd make my way into the vaping world. I made a lot of errors um, and I'm hoping that I can navigate you around those errors so you don't need to make them. The first thing I did was go to the local market and buy this. Um, there we go. There you go. Tastes pretty yucky and you get not much out of it. Around five years ago, I was introduced to the pen type vape by a friend. Um, I kept getting all the juice sucking up and into my mouth. Nobody likes that, so I gave up on that too. The next thing I did was around five years after my pen vape that I've just shown you, I thought, hmm, maybe I'll go to eBay and see what I can find. So I found my big box mini 80. I thought, yep, this looks good. I can do this. Just turn it upside down, untwist the lid, fill it up with your juice, which was the same juice I was using five years ago that had been kept in the hottest room of the house for five years. So it tasted disgusting, but I wanted to give it a good go. So I decided I'll give it a go. I'll use the old five-year-old juice I still had left and see how it goes. It tasted disgusting. However, I was finding that I wasn't smoking as much. I was still smoking, but not nearly as much as I was before I started on this. Anyway, I decided to hop onto YouTube and start watching videos about vaping. I soon learned that you have to change what's called a coil in your mod. Now your machine is called a mod in the vaping world. Coil is, let's say in basic language, it's what the juice hits, the coil heats up the juice, creates the steam that you then inhale. So I hopped on to eBay and had a look at the seller's uh, other items and he didn't sell, he didn't seem to sell the coils. So I messaged him and he said, I have no idea where to get them. So I was kind of left on my own there. Once a coil is done, like it, it's, it's not working very well anymore, it tastes like you're breathing in a match. It's like this burnt, heavy heat at the back of your throat and it's really not pleasant. So I then went and looked around for new coils for when I needed them. I ended up at a Chinese like eBay and had to buy them from there. So I did. Anyway. Then I thought, oh, I'm running out of this disgustingly flavoured juice, which is juice, e-juice is what we call the flavouring, the liquid that goes into your mod. So I hopped onto Facebook and found a uh, vaping group and joined. And I asked a fairly basic question, and I think it was something like, you know, 
how do I start? What do I do? Um, I was worried that, you know, I was going to get the rolling of the eyes type thing, you know, comments like, oh, you know, search, do this, Google, you know. But all the people in this vaping group were really, really handy and helpful and, you know, I really appreciated their help. One particular person messaged me and he literally spent hours upon hours um, on private message with me answering all my questions. Now I might have asked that question five times. He'd answer it five times. So with his recommendation I started with my first mod which is the UL Nunchaku. Now I'm going to place a link down there in the comment section as to where I bought mine. Most of the links that I will post below will be Australian links. I discovered when I was doing my YouTube research most of the videos I was watching were American, some from the UK, very few from Australia. So I, I just thought okay. I um, I just thought, okay, I'm going to base my videos uh, around the Australian person and where we're most likely to purchase things and whatever. So, I loved this. I bought from the same site, I bought my first juice or e-juice, as you know, they're called either way. And, oh my goodness, it was yummy. Now, I mean, this has fairly good cloud as well. I mean, people don't normally go into uh, vaping to get maximum cloud, but some people do. For me, it was just financial. But, um... I vaped on my nunchaku for a good month I think. I bought my coils when I bought my mod. Uh, easy to find, no hassle at all. So then I started um, wanting to experiment with different mods, different um, setups. The next one I bought was the Vaporoso Revenger. Uh, it actually came with a different tank. Um, I This tank is called the UL Crown 3. I like the look of it. I like the way it tastes. I like the way it everything. So I just took the other, the, t the tank that came with it off and screwed this one on. I loved it. I love the way it feels in my hand. Everything about it I love. It, you know, it, it's a fairly basic-ish kind of mod, and, but I love it. Uh, next I got the Vaporoso Polar. Um, same company as my Revenger, only it's different. Slightly in colour, shape, this is the tank that came with it, and again, I like it. Um, so the next one I bought was the Vupu Drag. Um, again, I've got my. This one doesn't come with a tank. This, so again, I've got another. You will crown three on top. I like them. <laughs> I actually have a couple more that I haven't opened yet. Um, you know, when you like something or when I like something, I tend to go all out and get a few. Uh, now this one is a completely different type of vaping mod. It's called a squonk. Strange name, but there it is. 
it's a bottom feed so unlike most of my other uh, tanks where you fill from the top This one, there's a bottle at the bottom. You put your juice in the bottle and then when you've got no juice up in this area, you squeeze the bottle and your juice comes up and you can vape it. When you're running low on flavour, uh, that's when you kind of know that you need to squeeze the bottle again. The last uh, top I want to talk about today, I will go through the others in further videos, is my um, my drop. That's what it's called. This one, you put your own coils in and my cotton's a bit um, old needs replacing but you can see there's no tank there's no area for the juice to sit there's a very very tiny little crevice there and that's it so so what you do is get your juice and put a few drips it drops in there and then you're ready to go I've got no batteries in this so I can't show you but this this one you know if you want to change flavors or you some people just prefer to drop you know the fresh juice in there constantly I personally use it to when I'm trying new flavors I also use my uh, drop solo which is smaller you can see but it only contains one coil so this now has become my taste testing um, atomizer the next thing you want to look into is making sure you've got extra coils so when you buy your first mod buy coils that go with it you will find them on the one site generally uh, then you're going to need to look into your juice you need to think about what fruit what flavor profiles you're you're into and I was a cigarette smoker and I've got to say I was smoking for 30 years 40 plus a day it was costing me a fortune and this is why I swapped but what smoking for that long did to me was to affect my olfactory system so basically my taste and my smell were reduced uh, so I, I bought a couple of different flavored juices that I thought I'd like I was a menthol smoker so I thought okay I'll buy the fruity coolish ones and I also bought some dessert ones um, I've got to say that most of the ones that I bought had no flavor or very little flavor to me they were muted so um, I thought oh gosh okay you know people are going on about these flavors but I'm not getting it but yeah, I think it took me six weeks to completely stop smoking I was smoking and vaping for that time and it's now been two months plus since I gave up smoking completely and I'm starting to notice that things that the juices taste better now I also do like um, strong flavors always have done uh, let's say you make up cordial I have double the amount of cordial than most other people so I've started moving on to like this one is a Malaysian flavor and a lot of the Malaysian flavors are quite strong and sweet and I like it um, 
However, if you don't like a flavour, don't just throw it out. I have here a drawer full of juices Ugh. that I, I didn't like for whatever reason. Um, tasted awful, couldn't taste anything, that sort of thing. So there there is my um, my taste and smell are getting better so these these juices may start to taste good for me now the other thing is some juices need to steep basically that means that you need to let them sit a week a month I, I, I like to leave it at least a month you know and they taste different they taste better so you know all good and I haven't wasted a heap of money by buying all these uh, ready to vape juices and just throwing them in the bin the other type um, you can buy it doesn't really say it on here but it's a doubler it comes I've written doubler on here so I, I don't forget <laughs> it comes like that only well this one half a bottle you then have to add your own um, vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol I put them in sauce bottles because it's easier to, to tip you know than the bottle they came in um, to your own flavoring so most people would put maybe 70% uh, VG and 30% PG. Mix it up well and then you can start vaping it. Then you've got other uh, ways to go and these are concentrates. So you know they come in very small bottles with various flavouring. Like this one's condensed milk. I actually haven't tried that yet. I'm dying to try that. That buying concentrates is the you know one of the, my mistakes. It it's it's not for beginners. You have to understand flavor profiles. You have to understand how much uh, VG and PG has to go in. Uh, there's so much that it, it's really not for the beginner go to a, a bricks and mortar store so go to a physical store or go online to an online vendor um, I'll, I'll put some vendors that I like down below in the comments um, I guess the other one thing I want to discuss about uh, bricks and mortar stores is tobacconists they charge a lot for their vaping stuff and it, it's, it's really not good it's you know things like you know this where you can't get the coil or I, I another mistake I made I went into my tobacconist that I used when I was smoking and asked her for some ready to vape juice she gave me a concentrate and I put it straight into my vape and well it was way too strong way too strong so don't yeah m my suggestion is don't use tobacconists um they're there to sell cigarettes and that's what they know just another suggestion i've got is and to be honest it was the same when i was smoking cigarettes um have a drink with you a water whatever uh when you're vaping especially you know vaping for a little while you'll need a drink it can dry you out a little bit um, I guess one other little <coughs> random thing that I want to show you when you get uh, we, we call it vape mail when you buy online we call it vape mail quite often vape mail comes with lollies 
I actually don't know why, but it's it's uh, it's a thing. <laughs> now the other thing was these rubber rings that came with my order when I got my nunchaku. It came with that and a couple of others. I had no idea what they were for. <laughs> What they're for is to put around your glass tank. Okay, tanks are generally glass. So if you knock it over, they smack. They can smash. So you put the rubber ring around. I put it on the bottom of the tank because that's where I prefer it to be. But if you knock it over, it's less likely to break the tank. And that's, that's what they're for. The videos I next plan to start making are things like battery safety. That's a huge, huge thing. Uh, so, you know, rewrapping, all of that sort of thing. Priming your coil. If you don't do that, you've wrecked your coil before you even start. You, you know, it's a waste. Uh, if you get gurgle and spit back, how to fix that. Um, Pre-made coils, um, buying coils already made, and how to make your own coils. And I... Actually, I want to just touch on this a little bit here now. Uh, nicotine. In Australia, nicotine is it's illegal to buy, sell, swap, give, gift, whatever uh, nicotine. However, you are allowed to import three months of personal use worth at a time from overseas. Most people do it from New Zealand or from America. I buy mine from New Zealand, comes within a few days, all good. But I will go through that in another video, sit it in more depth. But I, yeah, I, I don't want you running around trying to find nicotine in Australia because you won't be able to find it. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching my video. I'll be making more soon in the not too distant future. So please click your bell, which is you know, up there. Um, so you're notified when I up, upload more videos and please subscribe and like. If you have any beginner questions, please put them in the comments below and I will do my best to go through and answer them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video again. If you liked it, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you soon.